Alright guys, it's me again, Andy Hurd, City Trapper. Today we're going to talk about knives. <laughs> Mainly the sheaths. Mainly the sheaths. Why are we going to talk about that? Well, it's the way we carry them. First of all, I realized a long time ago that I cannot carry my knife on my belt. And the reason for that is because when I go to sit down, <laughs> that mug jabs me right off of that chair and right into my side. I hate that. I can't get in and out of the car without it jabbing me in the side. Or nothing. I mean, it, it's just totally uncomfortable. It's a big old machete here. You know, I, I can't carry that on my belt <clears throat> because it, one, it hits me in my knee. For two, it jabs me in my side as well. I can't sit down or nothing else. So what do I do? Well, here it goes. I first got the idea from looking at the SWAT team. They carry their guns on their leg on their hip or something like that but i never knew how they did that until after i came up with my design so basically this is what i've came up with is i take any sheath knife that has a sheath with it and i put that wire piece on there that wire piece clips onto the side of my pocket just like this does that clip just like that well then became the problem of <laughs> it falling off and everything else so that's where the uh, leg strap came into play at these have been worn out they're stretched out but they still work get y'all a close-up view here Okay. Now the machetes on the other hand They have a different way of carrying But we're going to talk about that here in a minute This little wire piece here That is what this is here That's what that looks like I make it out of a coat hanger or a very, very stiff wire. And now I'm going to show you how to make that to the best of my ability. So, here we go. First of all, find your middle. Bend it. Uh, nothing's got to be perfect or 100%. You just want it pretty well straight up and down. Next, uh, I don't know, about an inch and a half up, bend it this way. Whoosh. Same thing over here. You want to get it pretty well as close as you can level. Otherwise, it'll make your knife sit funny in your pocket. So there's that. Now it looks like this. All right. Now we're going to make these little bins right here. Those are the important parts. Take it right there. Bend it on over. Like so. Same thing on this end. Bend it over like so. And now we're at that step there. Okay. Now we're going ahead and finish it up and bend it on down. Like so. And this is nothing perfect. This is just for demonstration purposes. So now it looks like this. Okay. 
go on ahead and cut these little tags off here okay so it looks like this now right this part here is the part that makes contact with your knife sheath right here this piece the piece that goes on your belt once it is on your sheath and it is still loose it'll look like this somewhat with these pieces on the inside okay see you now they're in there right there the reason for these to be like that and not just cut off is because it gives stay it makes it stable inside there and it makes it nice and tight to your pocket sleeve just like your normal clip does see it's nice and tight there so once you have this and it's still loose and it's you got it fixed on your knife sheath here go on ahead and pinch her down whoosh, whoosh. so now it's nice and tight it ain't going nowhere ain't going nowhere this knife sheath I use strings on it as you see here I use a stretchy band with some buttons here but anything works I've used uh, clips and whatever have you it's just whatever I got is what I use and when it is on you it looks like that I know it's black and it's hard to show up but it's there, I promise you it's there. With that being said, that thing is visible from three points of view. So in states that has that kind of law, you ain't gotta worry about that. All you gotta worry about then is just how long the knife is. Now that brings me to the next step, which is this machete here. Where in the heck does that thing go at? That thing is definitely way too big to be fitting on my leg. Way too big. So where does it go? Alright guys. This is where that goes at. Right here on my fishing bag. That's definitely out of my way. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the fishing bag itself. I don't know how legal, illegal this is. I just figure this being there, that's three points of view. This is how I <clears throat> get it to stay on there. <clears throat> it's very simple. One screw there. One more screw right there. That's it. I screwed it on there, bolted it right on there. Doesn't hurt anything. Comes right up and through here. Even if it didn't have that there, it'd still go there. Comes out nice. Goes in even nice. Alright guys, that concludes this video. And until next time, have a good one.